Hello, my name is Greg Kelly. I'm the Vice President for Outdoor Programs with the Baltimore Area Council. For almost 70 years, Broad Creek Scout Reservation has been the main camping facility for the Baltimore Area Council. Over that time, the various camps at Broad Creek have hosted many scouts, their families, and many others. There have been so many wonderful memories made at Broad Creek over the last 69 years. Camp has been a good friend to the scouts and leaders in Central Maryland for a long time. It's showing the wear of many years and many campers. The Baltimore Area Council Executive Board authorized a study of camp in 2015. This study was called the National was part of the National Camp Accreditation Program, or NCAP. Once that study was completed in last June, our council president formed a task force to evaluate our options in providing camping opportunities for our scouts. Today, I'm here to share with you where we stand on that effort. I'd like to show you a slide presentation that I, that I gave to the executive committee on January 27th. The first slide illustrates summer camp attendance for the last four years. We average about 1,250 Boy Scouts at summer camp each year. Our Cub Scout resident camping program serves about 500 individuals each summer. This, this the 500 number includes both Cub Scouts and, and adults. If we look at year-round attendance on the reservation, this slide illustrates the, the data from 2014, 15, and 16. We find that over 30,000 individuals use Broad Creek each year. We're really excited about what's going on in Broad Creek. We've made significant improvements in the facility in 2016 alone. This slide illust illustrates a partial list of these improvements. We've put more than two, we've put almost $250,000 into Broad Creek uh, in 2016. You're going to see a significantly improved camp next year. Programmatically, we're also improving the, the operation. When you go to Broad Creek, you'll notice that we've moved or we are in the process of moving the archery range to make room for a new climbing tower thanks to the, the good graces of the Order of the Arrow. So we're making improvements at Broad Creek, but we still have a fundamental question to, to ask. What, what is the future for the facility? Our task force has, has been busy since September. Uh, We've hired a real estate appraisal company to provide an estimate of the, of the value of the reservation. We expect that real estate appraisal will be delivered the third week of February. This is really important so that we can appreciate the value of, of our asset and use that valuation to, and le rather leverage that valuation to provide quality program for our scouts. We're actively looking at at the possibility of placing more acreage into the forest legacy conservation easement. This is a potential source of, of, of significant cash for improvements at Broad Creek. And we're looking at, at renting a portion of the, of the reservation to another, prop, another nonprofit to increase the utilization of the facility and provide a, a revenue stream for the council. All of this effort is, is being done so that we can recommend to the board one of a number of possibilities. We've identified three, there may be more. Do we embrace the, the strategic plan for Broad Creek that came out of the NCAP and assessment, make significant improvements in the facility and program so that we've got a first class operation to support the, the outdoor program for our scouts? Do we purchase a new camp, or do we cease to offer resident summer camp programs? We're actively soliciting your input. We want to thank you for all that you do for Scouts, and know that we're committed to providing a quality program for every Scout in this Council.